All right. So we did some side quests, and we're going to be heading back all the way over here. All right. So now we're back over here. We're going to kind of move on, but first I'm going to. That's all there is in the new plans. Head over to the shopkeep over here. Hello. You'll like what I have. Promise. God dang it. <laughs> I got so excited. These machines were their shaman's damn nonsense. I guess I'll try to get a watcher's heart. I got so excited. <laughs> the world beyond the sacred land. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Oh, I don't have my horse. <sighs> Great. Saw me through his focus. The woman is one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, what is he that? Then he will pay for all the lives he's ruined. You know, when I ask for certain things, and they're like, "Oh, nothing but the usual," I see a freaking bird. <laughs> That's the size of a freaking building. I think I need to know this. <laughs> Right now, I'm not really seeing much of anything. Really? Okay, I just got into desert area, basically. Okay. I got. I better not see a scorpion robot. <laughs> Look out below! I will scream if there's a scorpion robot chasing me. We got a trampler. Is that supposed to be like a bison or something? I see some freaking birds. Hello there. Stay low, girl. We don't spoil the fun. Oh, it's you! Fun? Everyone has their reasons. Maybe you kill because you're compelled. I understand. Had a partner who'd weep at the feel of an arrow striking home. While we hunted the bandit scum, his eyes will never dry. Then you're a manhunter. Some kind of mercenary? Call me Nell. I've found where there is strife, there's bandits. Picking the bones of the innocent. Then whoever they can catch, then each other. But why wait? You and I could work together. Kill them all. What do you say? I don't know you. And I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare egg to find, isn't it? I'm just a traveler. With a bow, a concern about the state of these lands, and a missing partner. I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Well, let me put it another way. Are you a bandit? Of course not. Then you have nothing to fear from me. All right. Someone has to stop them from hurting others. And we will. We'll stop them from doing anything. Save screaming a while. And go ahead and take the lead. I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. Okay. Whoops, actually. Got the questions. Need them soon enough. Oh, there's a watcher. Damn thing with the smoke.
he's a heavy. That's probably why he has a skull on him. That's right. No one here. Okay, so they do have hostages. I don't know where their alarm is, though. Gonna need this. There, the bandits' captives. Someone. Something there. Dude, get out of the way, man. It's all right. I'm getting you out. I'm gonna get you out. Okay, that's our alarm over there. They know no. I'm here now. That should be it. There we go. Wasn't too bad. <laughs> Hope you will. It feels like life is returning to normal after the ceasefire. Can't help but smile in the sunshine. Feels good, doesn't it? Hold it inside you one last breath, then let it out. Ugh, I didn't find your partner. They killed him. I hardly feel surprised he was already getting cocky when we carved through the last bandit camp. I thought he and I were agreed. Only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle, just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Yours doesn't? 
You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you. And the way you hold your bow. I said a concerned traveler. And I was a soldier. But I was a soldier longer than there was a war, if you follow. And where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I belong. So I make opportunities to find it. It's like coming home. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? Oh, they don't get that look in their eyes. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way too. So you Damn. hunt them down to help others? No, no. For sport. I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short and the thrill of death too sharp. If you kill a tribesman, there'll be retribution. Hunt a boar, they complain if you waste the meat. But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight, and no one cares if you kill them. I guess you're doing the right thing for the wrong reason. I'm doing what I love. And what could be wrong with that? We're done here. Here? I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure we'll meet again. Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll know it by our work. Just a weird character. They'll level up. We should. Alright, now I get better items, which means more money and probably a better chance to get something I need. Is that a freaking T-Rex? Nope, 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 nope. Screw that. What's the problem? Betrayal. By my own blood. I was meant to go on a machine hunting expedition to the Banuke Wilds. With real hunters. Then the rumors began. New machines and evil miasma, many dead Banuke, and so on and so forth. So my father won't allow me to go. Says there's too much danger for a noble scion. Do you always do what your father tells you? Uh, yes. Of course. <laughs> Have you ever actually hunted machines? I've had our bearers carry a lance horn for me to shoot at. Um... Its movement was fearfully realistic. What kind of new machines? That's exactly it. My father doesn't even know. He only heard whispers in the sun court. And the evil miasma? Who knows what those tent-dwelling savages consider evil? Or a miasma. I just want to hunt, honestly. Why even give me a sword for my 16th year? What's a sword for, if not for brandishing? Hunting in the Banuke Wilds. Do you mean Banur? Oh, no. <laughs> That's so far from the sun's light. The expedition would be swallowed up. It's a place they call the Cut. Something of a no-man's land from, uh, the, you know... The war? But now, it makes for excellent hunting! There's a pass through the northeastern mountains. I guess I'll have to look into these rumors myself. It's through a treacherous pass in the northeastern mountains. You can't mean to go alone to that sun-forsaken place. I suppose outlanders can do whatever they please. By the sun, if only I wasn't born noble! Yeah, sounds tough. <coughs> will come out what happened. No shadows in the mountains. All right, let's keep on going. Probably should have talked to that last guy. It just seems like he gives you information. Maybe next time I'll talk to the guy whenever I return back to that one location. All right. Kind of makes sense. I think they would kind of freak out. All goods entering the city are subject to search. 
This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? I thought Meridian was open to... There we go. I can't get any of this stuff. Which sucks. Well, Karja. What happened to Ursa has nothing to do with us. There are no shadows under the noonday sun. Words to live by. What's going on here? Mullen's in there, somewhere. And so's Erend, that other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Erend said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. Machines go bolder. Whatever the Sun King plans to do. Arrested two for not getting it's through. It's always Outlander. the merchants. If this keeps up, I'll be broken a month. This is a lot quicker. <laughs> Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passed her in her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa. You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, uh, not really. A little. So, you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. It drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. <coughs> as you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Hey, we heard about her character. We don't even get to meet her. Unless she's not actually dead. We'll see. Stumbling around in I lost someone too. At the proving, the man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. But why is it every time something terrible happens? Everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as though that makes it easier. Yeah. Why is that? Anyway. <laughs> Even though I literally me? just did that. <laughs> A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Owen is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. 
Come on. Nice and bright out. I wonder if she's gonna talk about the device on her ear. So many people are all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. Buying goods for a fair price. I cannot tell where he's going. Is she a more? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. I'm better than you. All right, let's go. How long is blood for blood? Vengeance for Ursa. How long will Avad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Aaron, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister murdered, and her death. Unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself! Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass! What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Oh. Start booking it because I slowed him down by accident. Okay, how are we gonna get in? <clears throat> oh, that was subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. Yep. Other than the door. Oh, this rug is all of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. I'll look upstairs real quick. Looks like a picture of Owen's family. I think I'm gonna head back downstairs to figure out the rest. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. I don't think you're getting through that hatch. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sober enough, all right? I don't need another lecture. That's not what I meant. I was talking about what happened outside with the crowd. I don't want to talk about that. We're here because of what you said about Olin, so do what you need to do. Did Olin ever invite you in? Nah. Closest I got was a doorstep to help him home after a night out. We drank a river that night, but I hold it well. Y usually. You said Olin has connections in the royal court. Does he know the Sun King personally? No. He served the court as a scout sometimes and sold ancient trinkets to nobles, but he never had an audience with the king. If you're right, and Olin's into something dark. Sun King Avad has nothing to do with it. I'd stake my life on that. I'll look around. That's what we came for. Okay. Heavy covering, especially braced and reinforced. All right. Um. Anything else that might be down here? Doesn't look like it. Call it a day, girl. It looks like a picture of Owen's family. Huh? A lot of metal here. Could be just looks big and heavy. Let's give it a little push. Got it! <laughs> All right. Now aren't you going to see what's down there? 
All right, back to it. I tell you, okay. Wow, that was way too close to his face. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. Serve and they live. Disobey and I will open their throats and leave their corpses to prune in the sun. They took his wife and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. Okay, so he didn't mean to do it on purpose. The map. The glyphs show places he visited. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but... Somehow, Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances. And see through each other's focuses, too. Like, looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you. Through Olin. Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that. But the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war. Oh, come on! You're not hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. All right. I was about to say, like, come on, really? <laughs> okay, so we got a long way to go. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it like I did, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!